Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, my name is Alfonso Gomez Lobo. Uh, I'm a professor at Georgetown University, and I serve on the President's Council on Bioethics. Uh, that's an unpaid position, by the way. Uh, but I'm also here as the husband of a wonderful woman, my wife, who has been diabetic for many years, and which allows me to understand uh, virtually everything that has been said about diabetes. On the other hand, uh, given my ac academic environment, I have researched carefully the possibilities for cures, and I must honestly say that I have hopes for adult stem cells taken from her own body, and uh, I see anything done with embryonic stem cells is very remote. But I'm not here to talk about the medicine or my own hopes. I'm here to talk about ethics, because that's one of the things um, I do for a living. Now, the, the key thing, of course, is this. Um, no one really can reasonably oppose any form of research. I think that's totally irrational. To look for the truth and to look for truths that help heal people, of course, is noble, admirable, and ethically commendable. The problem has always been, what do you do or what do scientists do in the course of the research? How are human beings, the center of our ethical concerns, affected? Now, there's a vast difference, a vast difference in the way adult stem cells are obtained and in the way embryonic stem cells are obtained. There is absolutely no ethical problem in the obtention of adult stem cells. You just need informed consent. They can be drawn from bone marrow. We know you can get them from umbilical cord, etc. That's not a problem at all. The problem with embryonic stem cells is that at present, at present, they cannot be obtained without intentionally destroying human embryos. And I say at present because in the President's Council on Bioethics, uh, we've been working on alternative sources of human embryonic stem cells. That is, the idea of trying to solve this impasse, because we are politically here in the United States at an impasse. Uh, and the impasse is drawn along the lines of those who are willing to spend public money for the intentional destruction of human embryos and those that are not. So if we could obtain embryonic stem cells without destroying human embryos, that would be a very important breakthrough. That would be a very important solution. Now, um, that said, uh, I have to justify why I consider the intentional destruction of embryos to be ethically unacceptable. And of course, here I'm facing the positions expressed by earlier <coughs> testimony. Uh, in my view, the question of the beginning of human life cannot be a religious question. Our religious sources all antedate the discovery of the female ovum by centuries. The female ovum was discovered in 1827. So much of what, say, Aquinas, or all of what Aquinas and other sources had to say about the beginning of life really is not pertinent at all. Incidentally, Aquinas does hold that a human being starts to exist after 40 days, but he does consider the destruction of the embryo before 40 days to be uh, morally uh, unacceptable. So um, the, the key thing is that. Now, uh, Professor Siegel has argued that it's only after we become conscious that we should be respected. I disagree. It seems to me so clear that we're just one mammalian organism. Our consciousness, our awareness, our capacity to suffer, our capacity to think and to choose, all of that arises out of the single organism that we are. And uh, not being a scientist, I have this um, habit of having on my desk uh, a battery of books on biology, human embryology especially, and it seems to me absolutely clear that the mammalian organism starts to live after the fusion of the two pronuclei. I don't see how any scientist could contest that. Now, philosophically, the only way out of that would be to say we're not mammalian organisms, but again, uh, that is highly questionable given the biological basis of our 
human life. So I am opposing um, House Bill Number One because it devotes public funds to an activity which entails intentionally destroying humans at the earliest stage of their lives. Thank you.